Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Well, there are many, many task managers and to-do list applications available for the iPad and iPhone, but this week I want to take a look at a very simple to-do list application which has been recommended to me by many Screencast Online viewers, and that's Clear by Real Mac Software. Now if we go into the App Store, I'm actually going to use my iPhone for this particular demo, although it is available for the iPad as well. It's a universal application uh, for the iPhone, for the iPad, and also uh, the iPhone version does offer an Apple Watch version. Uh, it's $4.99, and there are some in-app purchases as well, but we'll have a look at those later. Uh, there is also a Mac version available in the Mac App Store if you want to synchronize uh, with the Mac. You can use iCloud to synchronize, so all your tasks, all your to-do lists that you create are actually synchronized via iCloud. But I've already purchased this, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. Uh, I've actually cleared off my iCloud account, so we should start off with a fresh installation. And as you can see, I'm using my iPhone 6 Plus for this demo, because we'll also take a look at the Apple Watch a little bit later on. Let's go ahead and open it for the first time on here. And uh, as with many applications, you do get some opening screens. The nice thing with Clear is that it is gesture-based, so that you can uh, sort of uh, navigate your way quickly through the application and add tasks or reminders in very, very quickly using gestures. So I'm going to go ahead and just well tap the first screen to begin. Um, you'll see here, and you'll see you know as we go into the application, it is a sorted list. Uh, you normally prioritize so that the most important things go at the top. Uh, you can drag things up and down, but we'll go through all these elements later on, the navigation levels, and some pinch gestures as well, and uh, various taps. Now at this point we can specify whether or not we want to use iCloud, and I would suggest that that's probably a good idea. Sign up to the newsletter, uh, no I'll skip that for now. And now we're into our personal list of tasks, with some example tasks put in for us. Now on the face of it, it is a very simple application, but there are some gestures that you need to sort of get your head around, so we'll go through these. Now the first one, this is our, our list of tasks, or our list of to-dos. So as you can see from the top, swipe to the right to complete. So if I actually drag across, uh, you'll actually see it changes to green, and we get the tip mark, then I let go, and it takes it down to the bottom. So if I want to complete things and still have them in view, I can swipe across to the right. If I want to delete a task, I can just swipe across to the left, and let go, and uh, that disappears. Now you may wonder why mark them as completed, why not just delete them? Well, with the completed tasks or to-dos, you can actually swipe across and bring them back. And there is also the option to uh, reprioritize tasks. You can tap and hold and drag that one back up to the top. And with this particular theme, this is the heat map theme, it actually becomes bold in red. But uh, let's go ahead and complete this again. If you do want to clear your completed tasks or to-dos, if I swipe to the right to complete, and you'll see now if I pull up from the bottom and let go, that will actually clear uh, my completed tasks. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day, no obligation, free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs> 